So I want to show you um, three rules for comparing numbers in scientific notation so that you can take two numbers in scientific notation and figure out which one's the greater one. So then if you're given you know, a list of, of numbers in scientific notation, you can put them in the right order you know, from least to, greatest, least to greatest, or greatest to least, or whatever you need to do. So uh, here's, I'm going to tell you the, the rules, and they, kinda, they go in order. Um, and then I'll I'll go through the examples so you can s you know so that this actually means something. So um, the first rule is a number with a positive digit term. Oh, I should I should back up and explain. Um, this part of the the number in scientific notation is called the digit term, and then the part with the exponent is um, very logically called the exponential term. So the times ten to the something it's going to be the exponential term. Uh, the other part is going to be the digit term. You might hear it called the coefficient. Um, I'm going to call it the digit term, so know what I'm talking about. Uh, a number with a positive digit term is greater than a number with a negative digit term. You know, so no matter what. So if you've got a a positive digit term and a negative digit term, you can you can figure out which one's greater just with that. Boom, done. Don't have to think about it any further. Okay, but if they if they're both positive or they're both negative, then you kind of have to move on to rule number two. So if both digit terms are positive, then one the one with the greater exponential term is the larger number. Okay, and then the opposite is true if both digit terms are negative. Okay, so if if they're both negative, the the one with the least exponential term is actually the larger number. And I'll show you that uh, with this last example. I'll put it on the number line so that kind of um, so you can kind of visualize how that works. Okay, um, if both digit terms have the same sign, you know they're either both positive or both negative, and the exponential terms are equal, then you just look at the digit terms, and the one with the larger digit term is the larger number. Okay, so let's let's go through these and kind of break this down. And just a reminder of, you know, what scientific notation means is, um, it's just it's just a product of two numbers. So five times ten to the first. Um, 10 to the first is just 10, so this this means 5 times 10. So it mean this is so this is really a fancy way of writing the number 50. And scientific notation is nice. So if you've got a really big number or a really small number, and you don't want to write out all those zeros or all those digits, then you can just write it in scientific notation just to save yourself um, some space on your paper. You know, save yourself some cramping of your hand. And you know nobody wants to look at a number that's just a ton of ton of digits. So that's the purpose of it. So um, 10 to the second means 10 times 10, uh, which is the same thing as 100. So this is 4 times 100, which is 400. So you can just um, figure out kind of the normal way of writing these numbers that are in scientific notation and do the comparison. You know, 400 is greater than 50. Um, or you can follow these rules. You don't have to think about it that much. Um, so to go through the rules, you know, the number with a positive digit term is greater than a number with a negative digit term. Well, we don't have any negatives here, so that that's not going to apply. So moving on to number two, if both digit terms are positive, which they are here, then the one with the greater exponential term is the larger number. So 10, 10 squared is bigger than <coughs> 10 to the first. So we know, you know, 4 times 10 to the, squ uh, to the second is greater than 5 times 10 to the first. Okay, let's look at 8 times 10 to the third versus 9 times 10 to the third. So going through our rules, a number with a positive digit term is greater than a number with a negative digit term. They're both posit positive, so let's look at rule number two. Um, if both digit terms are positive, the one with the greater exponential term is the larger number. They're both positive here, eight, eight and nine, uh, but they have equal exponential terms, 10 to the third, 10 to the third. So we need to move on to number three. If the digit terms have the same sign, which they do, they're both positive, and the exponential terms are equal, which they are, 10 to the third, then compare the digit terms. So 9 is greater than 8. So 9 times 10 to the third is greater than 8 times 10 to the third. All right, let's keep, let's keep moving. Um, how's this going for you? Hope it's going well. OK, uh, this can be a little confusing. But if you kind of break it down, it's not so bad. So let's look at negative 1 times 10 to the ninth versus 5 times 10 to the second. So rule number 1, a number with a positive digit term is greater than a number with a negative digit term. So 5 is positive, negative 1 is negative, so we know that 5 times 10 to the second is greater than negative 1 times 10 to the ninth. So, boom. I like that rule number 1. You know, you can kind of just knock it out of the park right there without thinking about it too much if you've got one digit term that's negative and one that's positive. Okay, let's look at this though. 
9 times 10 to the negative second versus 9 times 10 to the negative fifth. So if a number with a positive a uh, number with a positive digit term is greater than a number with a negative digit term. So they're both positive, so that doesn't apply. Um, number two, if both digit terms are positive, which they are, uh, the one with the greater exponential term is the larger number. So let's look at their their exponential terms. So negative five and um, negative six are the the powers here. So negative five, uh, ten to the negative fifth is greater than ten to the negative sixth. Therefore, 9 times 10 to the negative 5th is greater than 9 times 10 to the negative 6th. Okay, so, last one. Um, we've got two negative um, digit terms, so this rule number 1 doesn't apply. That's only when there's one's negative and one's positive. Um, so if both digit terms are positive, the one with the greater exponential term is the larger number. And then the opposite is true if both terms are negative. So, both terms are negative here. Now, which one... Um, has the smaller exponential term. Well, 10 to the third is smaller than 10 to the fifth. So, because these are negative, the one with the smaller exponential term is going to be larger than the one with the sm uh, than the l larger exponential term. And l I'm just going to convert these so you can see um, that that's true because it's a little counterintuitive. So, negative 4 times 10 to the third means negative 4 um, times um, 1,000. 10 times 10 times 10, or, uh, you know, 1 with three zeros. Uh, so this is equal to, oops, let me write that, negative 4,000. Um, 10 to the fifth is a 1 with five zeros. Um, so this really means negative 5 times uh, 100,000. So this is actually negative 500,000 hiding out in disguise. So negative 4,000 is definitely bigger than negative 500,000 because if you look on a number line, let's say here's 0, and these are negative numbers, so negative 4,000 would be here, and then, but negative 500,000 would be, you know, I don't know, it's like a mile away from here. This is way farther away. So, so negative 4,000 is much farther towards the right on the number line, so it's, it's the greater number.